Hi guys, this is Nashlin and thank you for watching. Um, for this video, I'm going to teach you what um, what we can do to set up your rig for creating your um, animation, humanoid animation or walk cycle animation. So let's get started. So this is the Norman rig that is very popular um, among many animators. So I'm going to just share with you where you can get it. So if you actually come to this website, sitesgoogle.com, site Norman Rig, um, or you can click on my link below this uh, post, I mean this blog, you will get to this place to download the um, Maya file. So you can just click here to download. So once you have downloaded, this is what you will get inside your um, file, Norman v version 1.0 and you have a couple of stuff inside here now the thing is for this rig it is not that straightforward because once you actually um, run it you actually you, you will be useful that you need to add in a few more scripts that comes with the uh, folder itself the zip file so I'm doing this for for Mac because for Windows um, it will be slightly different because of the location. I'm going to try to close this for now. Don't save. The script, when you need to run it, you uh, it's best to just shut it and then do it. So what you got to do is first, you got to copy all this mail script into your um, Maya project folder. So where can you find your Maya project folder? It, it is normally under document, Maya, projects, default, scripts, and here we go you copy them over here okay just copy these three files inside here um, most mostly you'll be using is this thing called auto ikfk.mail all right so this is the one that you'll be using and for this ikfk.bmp this is actually a file that will just show your icon when you need to use it in your library so where do we put this now you will need to okay go to now normally when you come in you can't really see this library folder so let me just close it for in case you are using a finder and new folder window okay so I'm gonna find this um, normally you can't see the library inside your folder window so what you gotta do is go to um, the menu and go and hold down alternate can you see once you hold down alternate a library appear okay by holding down alternate a library appear and click on this so you can see this is a hidden um, location and go to preferences autodesk maya 201460 depending on which version you're using all right and preference icons okay so this is where we will copy this file over so hold on alternate to copy inside here right so once you're done um, these are the two things that you need to copy two location one is inside the library and the other one is inside your Maya project file I'm gonna close this tool for now I don't need them anymore and we're gonna go ahead and launch your Maya. All right. So, what you gotta do is you can just um, turn on this, turn on this um, rig that you have downloaded. All right. Oh, you can see that I've got this toolbar created over here. So I'm not gonna gonna delete away. So I'm gonna recreate it for now. Right now. What we can do is, if you find in your PDF, in the folder that comes with the Norman, you have a readme PDF, it says a lot of instructions over here. So simply, I'll just click once so that I'm selecting as if I'm renaming it. So command C to copy this line, go to mail command V to paste it and add in a semicolon and press enter it will say blah blah please select um, please select a control body so that's working 
it's working already. So actually, how do I put it into this um, custom toolbar? So all you need to do is select this line, highlight this line. All right, and middle mouse, middle mouse, take, ma take note, it is a middle mouse, click and drag to this area and release. Okay, save script for, sh for yeah, you, this is the mail type, so just click on mail. Alright, and you can see that this is this is the fault of it did not refresh because alright it's okay I will just ignore that so this is the new one that we have created so how do you get the icon coming out so right click on this and edit alright go to go to shelves alright and see this being highlighted this is the name of your um, shortcut tool and icon name for now it is called command button which is this basic command default command button you can turn on this uh, browse your file and you can see this ikfk bitmap appeared over here at this location and go to open and there you are you have this icon over here and save all shelves all right so how do we go about working on um, this rig so to get started let's just learn how to control this stuff so if you look closely there's the vis ge geometry ge geo for geometry and vis control for control of your uh, rig so click on the control and on your channel box okay if you scroll you can see that there's a lot of things over here so what you gotta do is you gotta try to unhide them how do you unhide them? Select controls, all right, and press one, and apply to all. Press enter, and you are able to see that all the controls are, are out. Right. So how? What are? What's the use of this IKFK match? So I'm gonna give you a demonstration. For example, if you are creating um animation of person swinging his arm, I'm gonna rotate his arm down for now. Swing it back, all right, and yeah, I'm gonna press S to create a keyframe. I'm gonna frame six. I'm gonna swing it forward, all right, and you can see that it is auto key on. And for here, I'm just gonna swing it up a little, as if it is going to grab something over here. All right, just a quick demonstration. Oh, and press S. Um, for this and press S for this oops I forgot to press initially so I'm going to just set it back again All right set it back again all right so you have so you can see that this is my FK method of creating animation right so over at 7 that's where the tricky part comes in you got to select this FK IK icon. Okay, that is where we create FK IK. So before we do that, let's just select any one of this chain down. So I'm gonna select the shoulder and press this IK FK match. Okay, once you're done, click on this EX. No, let's just go back. You can see that immediately um your your forward for uh, FK animation is all all gone because we have failed to create a keyframe for this FK and IK. So I'm going to undo. Mm, let's see, yeah, our animation is back here, gone. So make sure you select this FK and highlight here. No, highlight here, right click, key selected. Okay, I'm going to create the keyframe over here so that for, for 0 to 6. It is based on FK. Zero means FK, one means IK. All right. So and when we need to, let's go to seven and press this um, chain of the control and press IK FK match. All right. And select this guy and you can see that it is key FK IK one. So what does this do? You can see that once I have done this. I am able to select this and do some 
um, IK control. Okay, so right now I do not have any keyframes. I'm gonna press S for now. And I'm gonna to go to frame, let's say 12, and let's say he's going to grab onto something, grab to a bar or whatever you can think of. Okay, and you can see that this is how the animation goes. From 0 to 6, it is FK, and from 7 onwards, it is a IK movement. Okay, this is especially useful when you gotta do some mix mix of FK and IK. Um, such as you need to grab something and then your IK is mainly very good for animation that you need to grab something and then your your body is moving but your hand is always stagnant at you know, fixed at one location so this is how it works alright so um, normal rig is a very good rig so I would recommend that you get this to practice on your walk cycle or your um, humanoid animation and well that's all for now. Uh, stay tuned and there will be more animation tutorial on walk cycle and, and stuff going on. So that's all. Thank you for watching. Um, check out my website at learnhowtoanimate.com. Okay, this is Nashlin signing out.